Huh? Oh, it's you. Why are you here? We're here as specially invited guest commentators. Our job is to record what happens during the competition. Is that so? In that case, I'll have to trouble you to catch the moment of my triumph on camera. Remember to shoot from behind at a lower angle. You know, to capture a senior's class. Don't get ahead of yourself now. Victory will obviously be mine. <laughs> You're far too young to even consider challenging me. Kasharwar or Ratawahist, you're all children as far as I'm concerned. Uh, actually, I was going to ask, uh, how do you know me, Madame Farazan? Huh? You don't remember? I sometimes see you in the library at night. You even waved at me! Uh, uh, what? I don't remember doing that at all. Huh. How strange. However, this is not the time for curiosity. I am Farozan, a household name in Haravatat. You are Layla from Ertawahist, I presume? I yes Good, then we are officially introduced. See? Simple as that. <laughs> I like respectful ones, by the way. Would you like to join my research group? Madam Faruzan, I'm quite sure this counts as poaching. Let's dial things down. I know, but it's been tough getting people these days, and research funding has been hard to secure. But once I win this tournament, it'll be a different story. So you're just here to increase the amount of funding you're getting? Well, not just that. What? Are you curious about my reasons for participating in this event? Well, I suppose that's to be expected. You are our guest commentators, after all. There's been an influx of newly enrolled students, and they'll be paying close attention to this competition. If I do win, I'm certain that there will be no lack of students knocking upon my door. Moreover, research resources will be made available to the victor, so that will nix my funding issues. Therefore, my two juniors, I do apologize, but I fully intend to emerge triumphant. Uh, I'll do my best as well. At least I don't plan to lose too badly. So, why are you here, Layla? I don't know why, but a lot of people recommended me. I didn't sign up myself. I just woke up to find my name on the announcement board. Oh, I'm... I'm really nervous. I've been so worried about disappointing everyone that I've been... losing sleep. Stress not, young one. We must all experience failure to grow and mature. But Madame Farzan, I don't want to fail. Oh, seriously? Everyone has such nice reasons for joining. Must I say? Yes, you do! We gotta record it! Um, well, you know, right? I want to buy some property. Oh, that's right! You want to move out of all Hathams! Oh, uh, oh, what? I'll hate them? What about him? This has nothing to do with him. Oh! Right, sorry, Paimon has no idea what she was talking about. So, you want to use the grand prize to buy a place, right? Correct. Also, my father took part in the Inter-Darshan Championship when I was young, but he didn't win. Once I do, the right to wear that diadem will be mine. In a way, I'll be helping my father fulfill a dream of his. That's not a bad reason at all. You have ambition, youngster. Although your chances with me here aren't great, I believe your father would be most proud if the diadem of knowledge were bestowed upon you. Not that he'll have the chance to celebrate. 
My father passed away many years ago. They say he ran into quicksand while traveling in the desert. <sighs> for you to have experienced such a thing. That must have been tough for you. <sighs> it's all in the past now, and life goes on, doesn't it? Let's change topics. I don't want to bring the mood down. Alright. Earlier, you said that you want to use the prize Mora to purchase a home. Where do you live now? Do you live alone? Uh, uh, well... Hmm... I also heard you mention I'll hate them just a moment ago. Isn't he also from Haravitat? Are you two hiding something from me? Uh, no, of course not! Why would you think that? <laughs> Paimon's definitely not involved either! We're gonna go interview other contestants now. Bye! I see everything! I'll show them how fierce this competition can be. Hey! Do I really have what it takes to represent the Ratawa Historshan? With that prize money, I'll be able to move out of Alhaven's place. Um, so... What... What are you... Just call me Hat Guy. That's the name I use in Vahumana. That sounds like a nickname, not a real name. So I can't go by a simple... Ordinary name? Fine! Suit yourself! Alright then, Hat Guy! Why are you taking part in the Inter Darshan Championship? We're especially invited guest commentators, so play nice and answer our questions! You could be Matra for all I care. So what if I don't answer you? What then? Uh, you! <laughs> I'll tell you this much. I have an agreement with someone not to reveal my motives. You're not plotting something in secret, are you? Well, it's hard to say. Why don't you take a guess? Ugh. I once had it with you! Fine, be that way. Then we won't ask you why you're participating. Instead, uh... Why did you join Vahumana? You two sure like to poke your noses where they don't belong. If I don't say anything, are you going to annoy me to death? <sighs> I heard that the Vahumana researcher named Akaba was researching the Tatarasuna incident, so I wrote a few essays to refute his points. Later, when I was bored, I wrote some commentary on societal issues in Inazuma. I didn't expect Vahumana to consider me as one of them. <laughs> Someone even invited me to a lecture or whatever. From start to finish, it was just the wishful thinking of idiots. A misunderstanding. There's your answer. Simple. But when Lesser Lord Kusanali heard about this, she went out of her way to get me registered in Vahumana. She used the name Hat Guy. Enough chit-chat. You're better off wasting your time with the other contestants. Someone's about to get very unlucky. Wanna guess who? How is anyone supposed to relax with you around? Uh, we've gotta stay alert and keep a close eye on him. Everyone hold hands! Do you really think you can see through me? Must get that limited edition card. It doesn't seem that Sumeru City has changed too much. We meet again, you two. Hey, Tainori! We came here to check out this extravaganza event, and then they invited us to be guest commentators. Is that so? 
I heard that there would be guest commentators recording the proceedings with cameras, but <laughs> I didn't expect they'd be you two. It's a pleasant surprise that you're visiting Sumeru again while I'm still on leave. When everything comes together perfectly like this, I call it the biryani factor. Because it's always rice to meet stew again. Uh. Uh. So, Tainari, you're representing Amurta, and Sino is representing Spontamod. But haven't you both already graduated? Can alumni also take part in a competition? I had wondered the same thing. When I was told the news, I was actually more shocked than you are now. I later found out that anyone who has been a part of a particular darshan has the right to participate. Graduation status has no effect. So that's a rule, huh? There are some restrictions, though. For example, sages cannot participate. Any given person can only participate in one instance of the championship, and so on. That's right. Also, there are two methods by which the Darshan representatives are chosen. One is self-nomination, and the other is to be recommended by over half of one's Darshan. You must have been a case of the latter, Tainari! I heard that quite a few of your juniors petitioned for your candidacy. Sometimes I wish I could clap a few of them over the head and tell them to spend that time on studying instead. <laughs> well, you can, but after some consideration, I realize this could be a good opportunity for me. Next month, we're having a public lecture on ecology at Gandharvaville. If I participate in this event, I might be able to utilize its popularity to promote the lecture. I'm not that concerned about becoming the champion. Unlike someone here. Yes. I'm using the last of my leave for this. When I heard that a limited edition Genius Invocation TCG card was one of the prizes, I signed myself up. This year's card is a rare one indeed. It would be a shame if I missed out on it. Wait, is it some kind of super powerful card? No, it's a very common one. But it has a holographic layer. Uh, so... what's the point? It's very cool. Uh, Paimon meant apart from being very cool. That is reason enough. I shall do my all to emerge victorious and add it to my deck. As someone who doesn't play cards much, I can't quite relate. But it isn't surprising that everyone has their own reasons for taking part in the tournament. Fair enough. All right, let's go find someone else to question. Looks like Karina's got a moment now. Let's go chat with her. They say that Sachin was a Vahuman a researcher and that he was a pretty famous genius. I guess geniuses always appreciate the knowledge of other geniuses. <laughs> oh, you must be the guest commentators Vikas invited. I've heard about you. I saw you two having quite the lively conversation, so I thought it would be best to wait. Are you two free right now? We were actually looking for you, too! Excellent! Then please allow me to explain your job responsibilities in detail. First, please take these two things. The first item is a custom camera from the Academia. Please use it to record the competition as it unfolds. The second is an event-specific locator that will flag all participants' locations. It will also sound when one of them completes an objective. Wow! What a convenient little thing! Aside from you two, there are two other commentators. However, they will remain by the commentators area and will not be following the contestants in real time. Speaking of which, you probably know them. I'll hey them and Nilu. Oh, it's them! We have to go over and say hi later. 
Well, don't let me keep you, unless you have any questions for me. Hmm? Why do you ask? Really? I didn't see any such person. Could I ask when you saw him? Strange. I was on stage the entire time, and I didn't see anyone come up. Paimon didn't see anyone either! <laughs> Perhaps you're mistaken. However, if you have any leads on that matter, you can talk to me at any time. Hey, Traveler. Paimon. Long time no see. So they're two friends of yours. In that case, I'll take my leave. May you all have a wonderful time during the extravaganza. The Academia sent us both invitations, so Dia suggested that we come together. The villagers were also encouraging me to travel outside the village. <sighs> I couldn't find it in myself to turn them down. We're here now, so no point dwelling on that. Even though this extravaganza isn't a holiday or anything, it's still a big deal here in Sumeru. Merchants from all over will set up shop. There'll be tons of stuff to eat, use, and wear, more than you can count. I'm already set on helping you buy two new outfits. I mean, who wears the same thing at work and home anyway? I'm looking forward to it. <sighs> Just being able to relax and wander the streets freely has already made my day. So, Traveler, Paimon, you two want to come with? Uh, we'd love to, but we've got work to do right now. Aw, oh, that's a shame. Let's hang out together when you're free, then. Sure! In that case, Candace and I'll head out first. Good clothing and fabrics are very much in demand. If you snooze, you lose. Oh, right. We should also get some accessories. No need to rush. I think we'll have a better time if we take things slow. See you two later. Feel free to come find us whenever you have the time. Paimon didn't think that Candace and Dia would come. Hanging out with them sounds like a great time. Still, looks like the competition's starting soon. Let's go over to where Alhatham is and see what's going on.